All right, let's do this. Daily puzzle. I got it. Rook c8 check. Deflection or attraction or decoy, depending on how you want to look at it. I've never have understood the difference between attraction and deflection. It's probably why I have issues in other areas of my life, you know, being confused on attraction. Uh, no, but seriously, saw this one very quickly. And sometimes you solve puzzles based purely on pattern recognition. Uh, looking at the puzzle to start rather than jibber jabbering away, I immediately saw that the queen is on this diagonal and that d8 square is under under attack uh, indirectly through the night, but still under attack. And, and so the first check, really the only check on the board to even consider is rook to c8. Um, if, we're, if we're going down the list of legal possible checks, rook c8 and queen, queen takes e7 are both moves, but clearly queen takes e7 is not a move that works. So this one is just a simple uh, pattern recognition. You, you know immediately when you look at some positions what the theme is based on the position of the king and based on, um, as, as I said, your recognition of the potential weaknesses. And that's another reason why you want to solve as many puzzles as you can. You do tactics trainer, you do all these things, because there is a certain level of, uh, it's not even creativity anymore. It's, it's the typical confusion of what makes a great chess player great is thinking that their geniuses are always calculating 60 moves ahead when the majority of the time it's making strategical and intuitive decisions with very accurate three to five moves thinking ahead, strategically intuitive and the correct sound decisions based on the patterns that they're aware of. And, and the same applies in puzzles as far as the critical decision making when it comes to choosing the right plan, making the right exchange in the end game. All those things uh, also require pattern recognition for grandmasters. And for a simple puzzle like this, that's all it is. And uh, all I ever wanted to be was somebody to you. So everybody else is trying to be a millionaire. But every time I look at you, I just don't care because all I ever wanted to be was somebody to you. And I hope that I hope that today we uh, we were not too much to handle, aka the name of the puzzle, two three two thousand fifteen. You can click right here on this annotation and go solve it and uh, go be somebody to somebody else. And uh, love you all. Have a good one.